Alright guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to calculate the total cost of our products that we are adding to the cart. So I'm going to create a function. Um, probably, yeah, I can do it just down here after all of this. Uh, let me just organize this code a little bit better. Um, just so we don't have like a lot of different spaces everywhere. Okay, I think that's fine. So I'm going to create a function in here called um, total cost. Okay, and this function, whenever I go and I do a loop through my all my add to cart buttons, I'm going to pass this function in here, total cost, and I want to pass inside the values of these products. Okay, so I'm going to do products i. Just like before, so when I click in one of these, I, I can get access to their properties that we have in here. So it's gonna be products i, okay? So I'm gonna grab this value, I'm gonna grab this value in here with a, a parameter of a product, I don't know. You can call it whatever you want because this is the parameter that you are just grabbing it. So I'm just gonna do um, a console, dot log of the product price is and then I'm going to put a comma and I'm going to put product dot price okay let's test this out I'm going to my console I'm going to click for example this black hoodie which is $25 I'm going to click and it's going to say the product price is 20 uh, okay, because I didn't update these in here correctly. So I got 25, I got 10, so 25, 10, and then I got 20, and then I got 15, okay? Sorry about that, guys. I didn't have the, the same prices like the ones in here on the, um, on the HTML page. So let me just go delete all the local storage, refresh the page so we don't have nothing on cart or anything. I'm going to click on this black hoodie, okay? So we got this black hoodie in our um, local storage. We got one product in cart, which is fine. Uh, we got the cart numbers one, and I'm just going to go into my console, and it says the product price is 25. Perfect, because we clicked in this hoodie. I'm going to click on this gray t-shirt now, so it should tell me the product price is 15, okay? And there it is. Okay, so we are grabbing this stuff. First, what I want to do is I'm going to do a local storage dot set item. Okay, um, is it, yeah, set item. And the one, the item that I want to set, it's going to be called uh, total cost. And what I want to put inside is uh, my product price. Okay my product price. So let's go into application, delete all the local storage so we can restart. I'm gonna click on this great t-shirt and look, now we got the total cost of 15. So if I'm gonna click once again on it, look, we got just one in cart. Okay, uh, I didn't click, I guess. So I got two in cart of this great t-shirt the total overall cart numbers is still two, but our total cost is not being updated because when we click the first time, we are setting the first value, but if you click the second time, you need to check if there is something on the local storage that exists already or not. So that's what we're gonna do. Let me just comment this uh, console.log and I'm gonna create a new variable in here. I'm gonna call it let cart cost is going to be equals to local storage dot get item and what item do I want to get I want to grab this one that it's called the total cost okay so I'm going to do a console dot log of my cart uh, cost is and then I'm just gonna put this cart cost that we are grabbing from the local storage, okay? 
let's look into this console i'm going to click in here on this uh, gray hoodie for example and it's going to tell me my card cost is 15 okay and if i'm going to do a console.log of i'm just going to do a type of card cost this is just to show you what kind of data type is it. So I'm gonna click in here in this gray hoodie and it's gonna tell me my card cost is 20 and it's a string. So whenever we get something back from the local storage, it comes as a string. Because we want the number, I'm gonna update my card cost. Okay, let me just go in here. I'm gonna update my card cost to be equals to a parse int of the card cost so we are converting from a string into a number so i'm going to try once again now i got the type of the data type of this variable is going to be a number so we can actually use it now uh, to calculate the total cost of our card okay so the next thing is i'm going to check if my total cost is null or not because for example the first time that i click on it I want to just do this okay but if my card cost uh, is not null it means that exists there already something in my local storage I want to do something different so my card cost is different than null it means that it exists I'm gonna do something else I'm gonna put this on my local storage okay let's save this what do I want to put inside of here I want to set my local storage dot set item of this uh, total cost and this is going to be whatever is in there from before from the card cost plus this new product price that we are clicking on okay so oops uh, card cost plus price okay um, let's try this out now clear the local storage refresh the page so if I click once on my gray t-shirt uh, we got some kind of error in here we got not a number let's see what's wrong in here well I think the problem might be because we only want to convert our card cost when our card, card cost is actually different than no maybe this is what's giving us a problem so let's just clear the um, local storage refresh i'm going to click on my gray t-shirt one look i got 15 dollars i'm going to click again now i got a total of 30 and i got the total products in here two let's check also our products in cart i got a gray t-shirt if i click on it i got the name a tag a price and how many in cart two i'm gonna do exactly the same thing now for the hoodie maybe just like two as well one two so the total price is 20 20 so it's 40 plus 15 15 30 40 and 30 is the total cost 70 which is perfect and i got two gray hoodies in cart i got two gray t-shirts in cart and the total in here on the top four and my card numbers four so all of these now is working fine all right guys so we have our total cost i'm just gonna do clear this one more time and just click for example one gray t-shirt i'm gonna click one gray hoodie and for example one black t-shirt okay so we got 15 plus 20 35 plus 10 45 how much is our total cost 45 how many items we should have on the card three look card numbers three how much is in here on the top three okay if i click in here products in card i have the gray t-shirt i got the gray hoodie and the black t-shirt okay all of them in here all right guys that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one